always ask that we give what God puts on our heart to give. Um, and if I can get to these baskets, I will.
We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we come to our time of prayer, um, I would ask if there are those circumstances or people that you would like lifted up out loud this morning. Yes. For the people who have died at Hurricane Irma, it is devastating to watch the news at night. Yes. And to know it not only affected uh, just in the southern part of the United States, but it came up up north. Mm -hmm. And New Jersey was the hardest thing hit with well over 50 deaths. And I just pray for all the healing people who are without power and continue to be in the difficulty getting food. And just my heart goes out to all of those people, everyone who was impacted by that terrible, terrible hurricane. I'd like to have a prayer for my daughter Heather. She fell at work the other day and had a mild concussion. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's still having dizzy spell. As for my granddaughter, Trisha, who's been diagnosed with stage three pan uh, ovarian cancer. Wow. Mm. If you just mentioned Tom and Anita, that would be us. Or you can just say that guy who's only been there twice. <laughs> extremely trying year, to say the least. Let us go to God in prayer. Lord, there is so much on the news that it's hard to even know where to begin. We do lift up all the people of Louisiana and all the other states and everyone who's been so, I don't know the word, but so devastatingly affected by Hurricane or Ida. We pray, Lord, for families who've lost loved ones, we pray for the survivors. We pray for the people working on the power. We pray for the rescue workers bringing food and other supplies, medical people, all that is involved. Lord, we lift up all those who are sick with this Delta variant. We are told numbers are increasing. Children are now affected. We lift up all those suffering from this and their families. Lord, we lift up the people of Afghanistan, all the families who lost their loved ones during the military pullout all of those who are left there, who remain there. We pray, Lord, that as you turned Apostle Paul's heart from condemning and persecuting the Christians of his day to loving them and being a faithful leader, so will you turn the hearts of those whose thoughts and actions are violent against others. May their hearts be changed to see how much we all have in common as human beings. And 
And Lord, we lift up our personal prayers of people. We lift up Jennifer, who, who just um, suffers from this chronic illness, migraines. We lift up Janet Cochiero as she is going to have cataract surgery on Tuesday. We lift up Heather and ask for healing of her concussion. We lift up Trisha, who received this diagnosis of third stage ovarian cancer. We pray, Lord, for healing. And that surgeries go well with Jan and Ben. And we lift up Tom and Anita and all that, all the struggles, Lord, you know, all that they have been through, continue to go through. We pray for strength and courage. And to know, Lord, help us remember that scripture in Ecclesiastes, there was a time for everything. There's a time to hold on and a time to let go. We pray, Lord, for your guidance, all of us. We lift up the upcoming Awareness Festival. We pray your hand continue to be in all the preparations and in the music that day and in all the other offerings that day and especially making people more aware of the social justice issue of human trafficking right here in New Hampshire. We pray it will be impactful as a day also of relaxation and fun mixed in with some shocking awareness of what goes on and how we might be able to help being your hands and feet. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.